Florida's new abortion bill is one step closer to becoming law. It passed its first committee review, 12 votes to 6. The Republican-backed bill, as well as its companion bill in the Senate, would shorten the current time frame to get an abortion in Florida from 24 weeks to 15. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has details. Yes. 12 yeas and six nays, Mr. Chairman. And with that, Florida's new abortion bill passed its first hurdle. Every baby deserves an opportunity to live. House Bill 5 proposes a ban on abortions after 15 weeks, with the count starting after a woman's first menstrual cycle. But the bill didn't stop there. It also improves data reporting on abortions. In addition, the bill requires the reporting of abortions due to human trafficking. Supporters of the measure say it's consistent with what's happening in other states, even citing the Mississippi abortion law currently being challenged in federal court. The court just sometimes gets it wrong, and I think the court has gotten it wrong when it comes to the viability standard, and we anticipate that. Um, being overturned at the federal level. But opponents say the new abortion bill would violate the constitutional precedent set by Roe versus Wade. We're get, getting to a place to where we are now challenging the courts uh, based off of their decisions. Now, we have a huge problem. Senator uh, Chevron Jones he, says the abortion bill attacks a woman's right to choose and adds even though the Republicans pushing the measure have the votes to make it pass, it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It was definitely a party line vote in the House. I'm hoping in the Senate it's not the same, but uh, based off of history and the length of time that I've been here, I'm almost sure that. So CBS4 reached out to South Florida lawmakers in Broward, Dade, and Monroe, but didn't hear back from any of the local Republican delegation. And if the final vote on the abortion bill goes along party lines, that would mean 13 Republicans in the area would vote in favor of the measure and 15 Democrats would go against. Florida should stand down, should wait, of the Supreme Court to make the decision that they're going to make, uh, and then uh, then we can come back and we can make our uh, uh, draw our make our decisions based on that. The bill does not make exceptions for rape or incest, but does for fetal abnormalities that prevent viability. Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News tonight.